Why, hello everyone and welcome back to this, the home stretch of Elden Ring. I think it's, you know, it's real difficult to tell. So we're gonna be back at the crumbling Faramazula area very soon, but there were a couple of ideas and comments uh, a couple of weeks ago that got me thinking, and I don't know if there's stuff to see here, but I am curious. We should see what Shabriri thinks of our new look. Might not say anything, I just want to check. Especially given... Uh... Shabriri? Shabriri, did you... Oh! Well, sure. Okay. I mean, this wasn't yours anyway. So I'll take it. Um, Iron Casa of the man who calls himself Shabriri, crafted to imitate the woven straw hats worn in the land of reeds. The man, once known as Yura, kept a woman in the deepest reaches of his heart. Armor of the man who calls himself Shabriri, highly functional and heavily worn. The man, once known as Yura, kept a woman... Right, okay. So, cool. Yeah, I was curious if, uh... Shabriri would say anything different now that we have uh, met with the Three Fingers. But I wasn't sure. And it seems like Shabriri has just moved on or past or found another host or something. Who can say? Given, I think, that like one of the main reasons for pursuing this branch in the path is uh opposing what Melina is trying to convince you to do. I had wondered if maybe we had just sort of missed the window for any, like, other narrative and dialogue branches in this path since we kind of already helped Melina achieve her goal. And that's already done before we met with the Three Fingers, so I don't know if we, like, potentially broke anything there or just altered anything there. Missed anything there, I guess, is the, is the word. Whatever. I wanted to check with Shabriri. Long story short. And there is one more thing I want to check on because someone said m something... Might happen? Don't know for sure. Where's Moog's whole realm? I need to head somewhere that's like a midpoint of the area. I don't know if they mean this or that one. Oh, well, that does say midpoint, doesn't it? A lot more straightforward than I thought. Apparently there's possibly someone or something to see out here. Might be this. Oh! Oh, hey! And I thought we took care of you, although I guess you were just invading me over and over. I guess this is the, uh, way to return the favor. It's dark in here. Turn on some lights, nerd. Where are you? Far A. Are you back here? Or are you further up the, uh... You might be further up this way. Well, you hang on. Seek violence. Heedless of my warning, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty, I am pained to the very depths of my being. I'm sure. I'll ensure you regret this. My lambkin. Enjoy your miserable death. You first. You're too slow. Die. Must I be disgraced? I just know. Ah, that felt nice. Hello. Luminary Moog, please grant the strength you promised. I have given everything. Please, my lord. And taken so much more. Please. <laughs> Bless. Sorry, accidentally skipped two lines there. 
Got a bouquet, though. What does that do? Oh, it's a weapon. That's a hammer. Oh, that does kind of make sense. I feel I've seen footage of people going and attacking Vare when they first get the opportunity in Limgrave and him holding something that kind of looked like a weird bouquet thing. A steel mace resembling a charming bouquet of roses. Each petal has a sharpened edge, leaving the roses perpetually colored with blood. This weapon reflects White Mask Vare's manner of speech rather well, enticing in its splendor but full of deadly consequence. Very true. Twists to build power, then unleash a flurry of thrusts that rob the target of both their blood and their HP. Neat weapon. But yeah, world probably better without you in it. Well, those were worthwhile stops. Okay, but we've got like a real task today. Let's go. We have to investigate that lower path we found, or at least that I'm pretty sure we found. It sure looks like the place to drop and explore a new thing. So let's go find out. Whoops. Oh boy, that was a much stronger lightning than I expected from you. Got it handled that time, though. So, if we were to head... You're going to ignore me. Uh, I don't know if you're going to ignore me. If you can see me down below... I don't want to get pelted by your nonsense. So, just in case. Now... This looks like what I'm looking for. Careful. Careful. Perfect. Yes. It's happening. This has got to be it. Like, how much further down can you go? Not very, by my estimation. Hmm. Have we found it? Oh, lie down. Neat. Okay. That is very cool.
That is extremely cool. The way we arrived, this whole set piece, all of it. Also, it seems kind of interesting that this dragon with two necks seems to kind of be doing a two fingers thing almost a little bit. Just sort of frozen here. Two appendages aimed directly upward as if like listening. Fingers crossed even. That might be nothing, but I don't know. Pretty cool. Also this time reversal recreating this arena space. Rad. We are probably in trouble, though. Maybe a good time to, uh... Start getting a little health back, you know? A little bit. Figure out what else we might want to do. Well... Let's find out. We got Tish on speed dial. We're gonna be fine. Maybe they're friendly. No. Did you used to have more heads than you do now? Potentially. I wonder. Oh boy. These are big AoEs you got, dragon. Large ones. Ow. Dragon. Yeah, it seems like you have... Some extra big versions of the wow of uh these red lightning AoEs. Yeah, you are missing a head. Woo. Oh, you got a lot going on. Wonder if the uh Wonder if the Halberd might do a little more per hit. About 500-something on a jumping attack versus... Ow. What are you doing? I see. Versus... Come on, man. Ow. Still alive. Uh-oh. Yipes. You're intimidating. Okay. 490 for a big jumping attack. All right. So this is a little stronger for individual hits. Okay. Yeah. Gonna have to learn to either just run away from that very well or time rolls out of that stuff. Yeah. Too early with the roll every time. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Didn't think I was getting away from that one. I wonder what sort of status effects you could potentially hit this one with. Poisons, rot. Maybe nothing, you got a lot of... Oh, that's a lot of fire. You seem very made of rock. In a lot of places. Oh no. As long as you keep running during that, seems like you can escape it. Running or timing your rolls just right. Yeah, whiff, come on. What are you doing? Ooh, that's new. New and scary. Where are you going? Oh no. Whoa! 
Cool move. Oh, you're not done. I see. Cool. Oh, come on. Oops. Now you're gonna hold still? Look out. Keep moving. Hey! Why couldn't I move? Oh, I think I, like, brushed up against your wing. The two-head breath attacks are really cool. Ow. This is unfortunate. Okay, alright. Go all the way back here. Rough. It's alright. We'll figure something out. I would love... I would really love to... hit this one with some kind of status. Either rot or freeze or... poison something. Let's try the Bonk Staff to see if Strike Damage does a little bit more per hit. And to see how magic does. I've also got some Poison Knives, and let's open with Rot Breath as soon as we get a window, just to see if we can make it stick. Let's experiment. We'll also get Tishin here to be a distraction. Actually, not teach this time. Maybe teach later. But, uh... Let's get another me in here. And then... See if we can make anything stick. Grab runes first, just because. Keep moving, other me. Whew. Poison stick. I don't think poison sticking. Nope, poison's not sticking. That's fine. We'll try another one. That one stuck. Okay. No, it didn't. Rod did not stick. What a cool sound for that one. Rod did do a fair amount of damage with the breath, but it didn't actually stick as a status. Good to know. Does missed. Not really. How does magic damage do? Not too bad. Yeah, it's kind of okay. How about strike damage? Poor other me's really taking the brunt of my experimentation here. Eh, only about 513 per jump attack swing, so could be better. Still, with the magic, though, that's not terrible. Eh, that's not gonna hit anything. Look out, me. They love the surprise attacks in this phase. See? What'd I tell you? Uh, 
I can see Tish being pretty good in here if Tish's status effect of like life drain or whatever, whatever that weird ability is they have. I could see that being pretty cool if it can stick on this kind of enemy. That may be a thing to attempt next time. Who are you even targeting anymore? He destroyed other me a while ago. Oh, hey. I actually staggered you. I wonder where a weak point would be. Yeah, all the way over there. Bummer. Yep, better look out. Ooh, that's new. And cool. What a cool boss. Nope. Keep moving. So long as you keep moving, you can dodge this one. Uh oh, they moved. Oh, that's two scary things to have to happening to get the same time. Yeah, <laughs> just a hair too slow. <laughs> Whoa, it's beams now. It's beams. It's beams. Ow, that's so cool and scary. Ah, come on. If I roll a hair later, I can get out of the way of the attack and the explosion, but... Ah, come on. Just out of range. Yeah. Look out for fire. Nope. Failed to dodge fire. Ah, come on. Woohoo! Uh oh. I was hasty. No! <laughs> My attack. Just made it. Have some of this. I don't think it hit. Ow. Nope. Ah. Oh, yeah, definitely don't run to this side when they do that big breath attack, I see. Yeah, there's no getting out of the way of it over here. Hey. Cheater. Now, uh, I don't expect a win on this one, but if I get it, it's going to be a close. Oh, come on. Just refusing to hold still. Where'd you go? Whew. Ah. Oh, no. Right, this. And yeah, boy, behind it's like, behind it or way far away into the side's the only safe place to be for that part. And we can totally beat it. So, hmm. A lot of status effects are out of the question. Or at least it's very resistant to them. Could try some of the big fire attacks with this sword, though I don't have a 
huge amount of hope. We could also try some piercing damage with this. It's only plus nine compared to all these others being plus ten, but it's... I don't know, worth trying. I could see that being a possible option. Hmm. This is nothing... Yeah, let's just try these in a straight-up fight plus Tish and see what comes of that. Where are the runes this time? Way over there somewhere? Phew! You are an expensive one. Worth every FP penny, though. A little out of range, Tish. How about a little bit of this? I did all right. If you could actually make it connect. Uh, <laughs> the wind up on it is very long, though. Hey! Tisha's effect does work devastatingly on this thing. Gracious. Yeah, that's huge. Granted, Tisha's not the tankiest, but still, wow, that is really nasty against this. Good to know. And a good 1,200 per... Ah, the tail. Can't get around the tail. Oh, here we go. Look sharp, Tish. This is where it's gonna hurt. Woof! Came for me instead. That is for the best. Look out, Tish. Ah. Yeah, I keep hitting it with that over and over. Oops, it hates you again. And for good reason, wow. No, oh, this is gonna hurt me. Ah. Greedy. <laughs> yep, I deserved what I got on that one. I got extremely greedy for no good reason. Yeah, wow, Tish does work on this thing. Gracious. Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Get you in here at lower cost. There we go. Maybe start... with a little boon for ourselves. And then I want to see... what hitting it with its own... lightning... does. I'm guessing not very effective at all. Now, I'm guessing this is not a good tool to use against this thing. I may be wrong. It may be devastating, actually. It does seem to do pretty good, actually. And stagger it a lot. Maybe not the most ideal weapon still with that one. I guess we can try doing this for funsies. Yeah, that didn't do much. That's fine. I think I might have found the trick. Yeah. I gotta stop assuming that just because a, uh, oh boy. Tish, run. Just because an enemy uses a particular element or tool or status or something, that they're not weak to it. 
We learned from the land squirts early on. That is just not true. <laughs> Things can be extremely weak to the thing they use. Get hit with this nonsense, nerd! Yeah, wow. You hate that. Don't shoot that at me, Teach. Come on, we're on the same side now. Teamwork. No beams yet? Thank goodness. Aiming at me? Can't tell. Oh, you're just up to nonsense now. And aiming at me. Okay. Where'd you go? Where are you? What are you ah! <laughs> Is it beams now? Teach, I think it might be beams now. Teach, stand back. It's very angry. And be- Ah, the range. Ooh, boy. That nearly just, uh... Nearly dropped Tish completely. Don't you run. Ah, it's gonna be hard getting any more of that attack off on this thing. We'll see if it lets us, though. Oh, here it's doing another big attack of its own. We beat it, though. Wow. I can't believe how effective that is. Remembrance of the Dragon Lord. Cool. Let's read about that. Remembrance of the Dragon Lord Placidusax, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked right. The Dragon Lord whose seat lies at the heart of the storm beyond time is said to have been Elden Lord in the age before the Erd Tree. Once his god was fled, the Lord continued to await its return. Interesting. Once its god was fled. So something that I'm increasingly coming to understand as I, like, listen back through dialogue, read through item descriptions and things like that, is that we've got several... And I think I mentioned this last week or the week before. We've got several tiers of... like We've got a whole hierarchy here uh, of power and authority. Humans and Tarnished, and most of the rest of us kind of have our little... Uh, little uh, just tier down below. Then you've got the various demigods who are fighting for the scraps. The fighting over the Elden Ring, the shattering happened. It's in pieces now, and a bunch of them all have... Pe parts of it, and mo much of what we've seen throughout the Lands Between has just been the the remnants of their war over the over the Elden Ring. Before everything went to heck, there was the Golden Lineage in charge in Landell, and the Golden Order, I think, as best I can understand it, is sort of like the like the the status quo of their time. Like, the Golden Order is their way of law and their... and their rule, effectively. And Merica was the head of that whole group. I guess as a god. Like, I guess Merica is a god, yeah? Or one of the demigods? I can't tell. Beyond... higher up than that, though, seems to be, I think, the Greater Will. And I don't know what the Greater Will is, but it seems like a thing beyond even the... Golden Lineage and America and all the rest. The fingers apparently serve that, as best I can tell. And I'm wondering if, like, the Greater Will... I don't think it's the... We've heard mention of other gods, too. Presumably, like, higher up the chain than all the, uh... demigods we've been dealing with. I'm wondering if the Greater Will is the god that fled that this dragon lord uh, followed? And would that uh, would that further sort of align with and expl like explain their sort of two fingers like behavior and uh, posture and stuff like that? Again, that might be a connection. That's nothing, but I like the feel of it. Or is there a different god that this dragon lord followed? This is super cool. The more, the more this world's like 
the more my understanding of this word kind of like zooms out and gets broader, uh, just the cooler it all gets. Some very good FromSoft right here. I definitely want to read the weapon descriptions that we can get from that remembrance. Now, while we're here, before we do anything else, because I believe this is the only place you can do this. Hang on, let me get my weapon reset up back, because I don't know what happens when I do this, if anything. Before we do anything else, we have an item we must use. And that is this one. Once the unalloyed gold needles that Mikola uh, crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. Capable of subduing the Flame of Frenzy if inherited, allowing one to cheat fate and avoid becoming Lord of Frenzied Flame. However, the needle is yet as yet unfinished and can only be used in the heart of the storm beyond time, said to be found in Fire Missoula, which is now where we are. So, here we go. Use. To tame the Flame of Frenzy. And we are free. Eyes no longer glow. Back to just being either... Dragony or blood red from the whole Moog thing. Couldn't tell you. Again, we've been through a lot. Let's get a level, maybe. Or two. Yeah, why not? Let's get two. Nice. Well, all right. Tomorrow, we'll go read those descriptions and get back to uh, Farah Missoula, where we can head up the other way on the bridge toward the mounted enemy and the fog gate beyond. Very excited to see what is past there. Take care until then, all of you. Goodbye. Goodbye.